Hey, today we're going to be showing you how to set up your Ace and Acre mods for Arma 2. First thing you're going to go do is your Play with 6. If you don't have it already, go ahead and go to this link. I'll have it in the description with 6.com slash download. And you can just go to get the client, and it'll take you right here if you're on the home page. After that, you run the install. Make sure you're running as an administrator. And you're going to open up your Play with 6. It has this kind of icon in your taskbar. And go to the Mods tab, and after you've gone to that, you're going to go down here, and you can click the Add Repository. And you're just going to paste in the repository for all 86 IBCT members. And you just add that repository, and it creates a new collection. You see, I actually already have one, because I've already done this. And you can actually join the server straight from your Play with 6. So you don't have to open up the expansions menu, the Arma 2 main menu, and you don't even need to use the multiplayer matchmaking if you don't want to. That is only for people who are watching this for 86 IBCT. Other people, you can just create a collection on your own, like I have, and you can search and add your mods manually. Or you can put them into your files manually from Armaholic, and things should work just as fine. They should still be in the same search bar. After you've downloaded all your mods, next thing we're going to do is set up our ACE. This is your Advanced Combat Environment mod. I'm just going to my C drive, Program File Systems 86, and I'm just trying to get in my Steam directory. So I go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Army to Operation Arrowhead. And we find my ACE folder. For some of you, it won't be in here. For some of you, it will be in your documents, and then it will be in your Arma 2 or your Arma 2A. For me, it's in here, and I'll tell you why towards the end of the video. But you're going to go to the aceclippy.exe, then you're going to change manual options. You can customize these how you want to or leave them the same. Most important thing here is to select your identity. I selected mine, Captain State. Do not do the .vars one, just do Captain State. After that, go ahead and save that. I'm just going to cancel since I didn't make any changes. And we're done with that. Like I said before, though, could be in here. Could have your mod saved in there. Next thing, hardest part, is to set up your acre. So the first thing we need to do is we need to downgrade our TeamSpeak. So what I do is I have one TeamSpeak right here. TeamSpeak 3 client, and that is the older version. And on my other drive, or you just do it in another folder, I have a new TeamSpeak for any servers I need to connect to that require the new TeamSpeak. So I will have this link in the description. This is a uh, FileHorse website. You should go right here. You can get all the different 32-bit ones. Or you can go straight here, and this is the 64-bit one on FileHippo for .13.1. .13.1 13 .13 all the way down... I use .11.1, those all work, but if you're running a 64-bit OS, I would recommend this one. I've heard the best things about this one working with Acre. After you've gotten your new TeamSpeak installed, or you've uh, uninstalled your old one, or you've set it up on a different uh, location, next thing you want to do is you're install, you're going to install your plugin files. All right? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our at Acre mod. And it's going to be in the same place as our at ace was. Should be right under it. There we go, at acre. And we're going to go to our plugin. And we should see these two files. We're going to copy those. And I've already done it, so I'm not going to. And then we're going to go to that old TS that we just now installed, the downgraded one. And we're going to go to plugins. And you see, I already did that. And we're just going to paste them in there. All right? Doesn't matter if you have a 32 bit or a 64 bit OS, just Put them both in there for simplicity's sake. All right. After that, as long as you're running it as an administrator, uh, that is your TeamSpeak 3 client, your Steam, and your Play with 6, you should be all straight. But if you're getting another error, I can tell you how to fix that. It's called the jarma 2 lib not found error. If you're already working, great. Stop. You don't have to watch the rest of the video. But if you're not working, this can be a fix for you. So what you're going to need to do is to go to the settings and you play with 6 if you're getting this error. And what you're going to do is you want to go right down here to game settings. And it should say game directory, mods directory, and the sync cache directory. What you want to do is you want to click those and you want to move them from your default mod installation is right here. To my knowledge, it's right in there, or wherever it is, and you want to move those in the same place I moved them, which is your C drive, times 86, Steam, Steam apps, Common, Armored 2, Operation Arrowhead. You want to put them right in here. 
So you just put that right in here. You want to put that uh, file path in the game directory. It's going to ask you, do you want to move the files? Yes, you want to move them. That's the whole point. Mods directory? Yes, you want to move them. Sync cache directory? Yes, you want to move them. After that, the next thing we need to do is come in game. We're going to need to go to our Armor, Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead, and you can right click it, and you just launch that without battle eye. And you're going to want to start that up, and then when you get in game, that is to the main menu, you need to disable all of your expansions. Then you need to re enable them in this specific order. So you just go to the main menu, you go to expansions, and then you enable the mods in this order. You're going to do the at ace, excuse me, you're going to do the at cbaco, at jarma tulib, those are dependencies for ace and acre. Then you're going to do your at ace. And then you can do any other aces you want through here. Any other aces that you're running, you activate those there. And then at the end, do your at acre. So that should be what your expansions looks like. And then you click OK. Ask you want to restart the game. You say yes. It restarts it. Pop back up to the main menu. You can get into a game. And your acre now should be working without the JRM2 lib not found error. Like I said, not everyone has this. For having further errors, feel free to contact me on my email or my Steam. I'll have that in the description of the video. The number one tip is make sure you're running everything as an administrator. And make sure your downgraded TS is the one you're using. Other than that, any further advice you can contact me for. Thanks for watching, everyone.